Back at the camp, Colin's preparing to make iron for the weather vane. To do this, he's building a primitive furnace. In the Edwardian period, there was a great shortage of iron. And in this area, a number of skills survived into the modern age. You had iron ore, and if you wanted iron, you could actually make it in what is essentially a very primitive furnace. What an ancient technology, but I mean, was this still going on in the boarding period? Well, in these rural areas, skills survived for generations beyond which they were almost obsolete or extinct in the cities because what you didn't have quite often was money. And if you had the raw materials, which they had down here, then you could always get yourself out of a fix. Iron is found naturally in a rock called iron ore. To extract the metal from the ore, it must be heated in the furnace to 1,200 degrees Celsius. To achieve this, they must burn the charcoal. This is the acid test. Five days, four nights without sleep. And, you know, we need to know whether we got good charcoal. Digging through the layer of straw and soil, the charcoal is revealed. Right, couple of pieces. Right. This is what we've been looking for all that time. Wow. Oak <laughs> that is burnt right through and is pure carbon. Black wow. gold. Black gold? Yeah. Gently does lid up. <laughs> oh, whoa. And that's the iron ore going in. Yep. Right, that, that's the raw material, yeah? That's right, yeah. What exactly is going on in there now? Well, we, we've got the iron ore which is um, fusing together. But we need that last little boost right. to get it up to temperature, to get it up, you know, 1,000, 1,200 degrees, wow. so that we've got a um, workable bloom of iron. To make the charcoal burn even hotter, air is blown into the furnace using Edwardian bellows, a back-breaking job that falls to Peter. Inside the furnace, the charcoal's been burning for 10 hours, raising the temperature of the iron to melting point. You can see, you know, the, the heat that's needed to get it to this stage. I can feel the heat. <laughs> yeah. And hear the roar. And you see our Ooh. charcoal glow. Yes. Now the molten iron must be extracted, using the most basic of methods. Yeah, well, basically, one at a time, but gentle blow. Peter leads. OK. In theory, the molten metal inside the ore should all stick together like toffee, while the waste material, known as slag, breaks away. But it soon becomes clear there's something not quite right. So, run us through what just happened there. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just crumbling, but there's not enough pureness on there, isn't it? At the moment, we'd be hard pushed to make a type in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Colin thinks the iron ore wasn't hot enough so it's back in the furnace to get it even hotter. Oh, okay. ah. What sort of pressure should I be putting on these tongs? Just, yeah, just keep them. Now that is just a completely different material. It's, it's a lot spongier, isn't it? It's kind of like getting the good bits to stick together. Right, to and it's working, isn't it? Look, it's yeah. working. Essentially, we've taken a raw material from the hillside Having done this burn, we produced enough charcoal then to reduce that raw material to a workable and malleable material yeah, in itself right. that we'll be able to use for this weather vane. That's right. Once we've actually got all of the waste product out of this, yeah. then we can actually forge it into any shape that yeah. we need. Now they've worked out the method, they must produce enough for the weather vane. Back at the forge, Simon's worked the iron into rods. Now he's using the charcoal to heat it, ready to make the support for the weather vane. And how's this charcoal doing? It's really good. You no, know, yeah. we're getting the heat quick in there. Mm. Obviously, we've had to break the charcoal down quite a bit because yeah. it's, it's quite, you know, big chunks. I mean, is charcoal good for working metal? 
Yeah, very good. You don't need much air going into the fire, not so much as you do for coal or coke, but you can get the heat in very quickly with charcoal. Now we've just got to get on with the scroll now. And we just start to curve it off the edge of the anvil. And I'm brushing it with a hammer. Brushing it. It's just gently brushing it down. It's really thin metal. And then that's it, knocking it towards me. And then just gently elevate. 